What would you say the most common conditions that you see in o OHNS? <laughs> well done. Yes. Um, so we, because I'm on the head and neck team alone, so in otolaryngology, we have actually different subspecialties. So the division is quite large. And then within that, we have like rhinology, facial plastics, general ENT, and head and neck. So I'm allotted to really just the head and neck. So this is the oncology side of things. So definitely the most common thing that we see is any malignancy between sort of nasal cavity, pituitary down to the uh, larynx um, and sort of hypopharyngeal area. So uh, yeah, laryngeal cancer, tongue cancer, um, oral pharyngeal cancer would be sort of the most common that I see. Acutely, if we're on call, um, we'll take patients of epiglottitis, uh, neck abscesses. Um, yeah, so those are probably the most common. Okay. Any more uh, rare conditions that you usually come across from time to time? There's always weird, you know, yeah. it's weird trauma cases, for instance, you know, like, oh, I fell onto the knife and somehow it's, it's in my neck, you know, funny things like that. So I'll say penetrating trauma is pretty rare, but when it happens, it's, it's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. it's always funny to say neck, neck fash. So we get a couple of necrotizing fasciitis in the neck area. So there's okay. ridements with, with them. So I've seen a couple of cool cases of that. Um, and I also saw one really bad, like I can't even believe like someone had severe profound sepsis from a pharyngitis, which is just so scary, mm -hmm. uh, required intubation and operating just from a pharyngitis. So it's uh, as benign as, you know, a lot of our colleagues see as in the primary care. I am fortunate enough, I guess I can say that from a weird twisted mind to see mm -hmm. the sickest of the sick of these sort of common diseases, but more rarely they're really ill.